ఆ కుర్చీని మార్చాబెట్టి దెంగుతే మెడలు ఇరిగిపోయినాయి My heartfelt namaskars to all. The concept of one nation and one election being brought back by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi is truly applaudable. And we as Janasena, we, tru- we truly support this initiative. And the reason being is, Modi ji is trying to revive the old age practice or process where our founding fathers had initiated. in the 1951-52 general elections and 1957 and 1962 and 67 both parliament and uh, state assemblies elections were held together the- tradition was broken due to premature dissolution of uh, legislative assemblies and the fall of government and here again modi ji after so many decades he is he is trying to revive that old age process and which is very need of the it's need of the and need of the nation and even this is not the, and modi ji is trying to bring back the suggestions or uh, uh, committee suggestions by uh, law commission under the uh, headed by <laughs> sri bp jeevan reddy and also election 1983 the election commission also had suggested a system should be made where lok sabha and state elections should be <laughs> most entertainment feel out held uh, simultaneously even justice uh, bp jeevan reddy got also had said the same thing in 1919 1999 in his report we should go, to lechi, rundu jeevulo, ponna, ne, go back to lok sabha and assembly uh, elections as uh, simultaneous and he also had proposed the same idea and on 26th november 20 20- 2020 and constitution day modi ji has emphasized one more time people and the entire nation should think about one nation and one one election and we we as janas a kurchi ni marta betti dengute medal irigi pene sena we firmly believe why it should be one nation and one election a lot, a lot of other countries like south africa and indonesia and a lot of other countries i think maybe south africa <laughs> most entertainment feel africa south africa sweden also i think all these countries a lot of other countries also doing uh, one uh, one election and uh, one nation and one election theory been uh, being practiced all over sagal pettandi sir niranjan garu ah only we couldn't continue the tradition and modi ji is trying to revive that old age tradition and we as janasena we properly support it and the reason nenu deen kosam wait chestu reasons being when uh, first general election parliament costed almost uh, uh, they say 11 crores that's what uh, they say uh, by the time it came to parliament election face to face telchukunnam ra po ni amma padava elections in 2014 it became uh, 30000 crores and by the time it reached uh, 2019 it became 60000 crores so the expenditure is going on doubling i don't <laughs> Oh, I'm a face to face. I mean, doubling. We don't know how many hundreds of times in multiple, multiples it's increasing. And exponentially it is increasing. Uh, the cost of election in process. And if it happens one, one time election. Face to face. Tell to go now. Rah. Oh, I'm a face to face. In uh, every five years for all uh, assemblies and parliament together. I think that would cut down a great expenditure on the. countries uh, ex- exchequer that is one major thing and major on the security force hey guys yeah you didn't even told la force the burden will be lessened and where they could focus on a nation security then uh, be, uh, being uh, doing duties for the state elections where, wherever it is happening or any height ki nu maatlade maatlade emana sambandham and a major part of the nation is always one major uh, uh, blow is for the nation uh, grow economic uh, growth is, is about kaata to lechi rundu jeevullo cheetlu pettukoni nadachukunte illipothunnanu nenu ekkadiki elthanu konnaku teliyadu actually part of the nation is always in you know, election mode 
and we are not able to create you know focus on uh, whatever is needed for the youth and you know, for the development or for the economic sir sir age ready economic prosperity instead of thinking on these issues on sort of fighting against poverty instead of thinking all this we are talking about okay, who is going to win in karnataka who is going to win in uh, kerala and this debate is aji bitta gor chodu kon nannu tokke isidra rotla daniyale tanchira tanchi isidra ee bus melo rendu baba amma is diverting from the main issues i think if you happen uh, one nation one election i think this would be covered and the rest of the time we could focus on uh, development and uh, poverty and gulab jamun le dalagalle ani poya ira amma nanni talsu kutte na avalla kavatla idra tandre employment employment and all these issues that is one and also for common people this really brings down uh, the lot of annoyance or uh, maybe for as a common man uh, we can see lot ameku mukkuru anadamulu mental na kodukulu a lot of people when we move around for relationing process real a lot of common people really a lot, uh, do suffer a lot and especially election means uh, electioneering uh, when when you go to lechi rundu jeevulo chethulu pettukoni nadachukunte illipothunna nenu ekkadiki elthanu konna naaku teliyadu